How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. This is Stop Drinking Alcohol Week 62 and today I wanted to talk about that you have to believe that change can happen and that it must happen in order for you to quit drinking. There was a couple of videos posted on the website this week. Um, the first one was, should I try to um, lose weight when I'm quitting drinking and it's basically about trying to take on too much uh, you know trying to quit drinking and lose weight and get really fit and run a 5k and do all this kind of stuff um, it just doesn't work and the second video was um, just a basic look at quitting drinking for health reasons um, so we all know that there's plenty of reasons to quit drinking and health reasons are among the, the best we also sent out the Alcohol Mastery uh, progress chart this week in the newsletter and the next couple of days I'll put it up onto the website so you'll be able to click and download it whenever you want. Uh, it's just a basic colourful uh, representation of um, your first month but you can use it as a, an hourly thing. I think there's, there's a plenty of space anyway for taking off your hours if you want to use it that way or whatever way you want to use it it's uh, it's just one of those things that can give you a visual representation of you know how far you've come and I think that's so important is to sort of you know have some sort of progress also today I wanted to look at one of the fundamental principles of making sure that any change happens in this case, stopping using alcohol means that you have to believe that it must happen, that it's got to happen, that no matter what else takes place in your life, that you've got to get rid of um, this curse. You know, if you start off your journey with the belief that change can and will and must happen, then you, you've just got a lot better chance of success. Um, there's two different elements to this. The first thing that you have to believe is that it's the right thing to happen, that it's um, the right direction for you to follow, that stopping poison in your body is um, the correct path, that it's the, uh, you know, that you have to do it, that, you know, it, it's just before you can do anything else in life, before you can move on and uh, pursue any other goals, that you've got to um, stop drinking, you've got to stop using alcohol in this way. No matter how many times you say to yourself that you should really quit alcohol or that you want to stop really putting this poison in, inside your body or that if only you could quit alcohol then things would get better. Nothing's going to change because ought to or could do or should do anything just doesn't get anything done but must do and have to get stuff done because you put yourself into a position where you basically have to do it uh, it's not the f everything but it's it's the first step the second element is the belief that you are truly capable of never ever putting a drop of alcohol inside your body again you have to have that belief you have to have that initial belief that you can do it that it's possible for you to do this, that there's millions of other people that have done it before you and that you can do it as well. You know, you have to believe that you don't need alcohol, that you need clean arteries, that you need an unfogged brain, that you need a working liver. You know that those are the things that you need in your life. But alcohol is not something that you need at all. You know, you, you need your family, you need your friends, you need your pride and you need your confidence. Um, if you don't believe that you're capable of quitting alcohol, that you're capable of doing it in the long run and forever, then it just won't happen. So how do you get that belief in yourself that you must change? and that you're capable of changing. You have to get to a place where 
you know that your life depends on it, that a good life depends on it. That, you, you know, like, you can have a shitty life by making yourself pissed out your brains every day. That your family depends on you quitting alcohol. You know, that your family, your pride, everything depends on you quitting alcohol. You need to get to a place that knows the consequences of not stopping using alcohol. You need to get to a place that is so painful just to think about it that you've got no choice but to quit. There's several different ways that you can get to that place. I mean, one of the ways that I use is by visualization. I just visualize the worst outcomes that I can think of, especially with the people that you care about the most. I mean, just imagine those people leaving you and not really giving a shit about you anymore um, because you don't give a shit about yourself. I mean, everyone's on this planet. Everyone's there to try and make their own sort of life um, as good as possible and as pleasurable as possible to try and get as much pleasure into their life and avoid pain. So these people are not going to stick around. You know, they're going to eventually give up on you if you are consistently and constantly giving up on yourself. One of the other ways that I've found to... Um, to uh, get to that place is through inspiration by um, looking at people that have done it before, looking at people that have already gone through the journey and um, have sort of initially got through that first phase and know that it can be done. And there's millions of people that have got through that phase. When you find these people, they're only too willing to help you out, to um, give you their knowledge, to try and give you help about you know, what it's like in the beginning or how to sort of get over the first few weeks and, and months and how to deal with the cravings and the symptoms and, um, or as I say, the discomforts of, of quitting drinking, how to get over that you know, and how to get your brain around it. It is basically about, it, about that. It's about getting your head into a state that you can do it. You know, regardless of what your, what way your body is and, uh, what forces are there, you know, your doctor telling you that you can quit, that you have to quit because your liver is packing up, or your family telling you you have to quit because they're going to leave you, or your job saying, well, if you don't quit, we're going to sack you. Those are all external things. Those are all, you know, they, they, they're they going to help you in the short run, but in the long term, you need to get it into your head. It has to be in your head that you need to quit, that you have to quit, that you've got to quit that there is no other way about this but quitting. You know, and there's another side to this. The other side is when you've got through that first month or two months, when you got through that first year is awesome. I mean, it really is awesome. Um, I, 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 I just, I don't remember being this happy with my life, this contented and this um, looking forward to, to, to my future. I mean, I'm, I'm nearly 50, I'm 50 in three years' time. Uh, and at this thing is, you know, like most people are going, well, you know, it's uh, time to, uh, you know, I'm on the slippery slope. I remember an actress years ago, uh, Sally Field, saying it, and she was only in her mid 40s. She said, well, she's on the slippery slope now, you know. And I don't feel that at all. I feel that my life is just beginning for the first time. It's really, really awesome. Awesome, man, you know, just. On the other side, once you get your head around that fact that it's going to happen, that it has to happen, that there is no choice, that if you don't do it, your life is basically fucked. You have to get to that stage where you're thinking, I have two paths to go down. I quit in drinking where my life is going to be awesome or not quit in drinking where my life is fucked. That's basically it. That's a bit of a rant and a half, but look, come over to the forums. There's plenty of people over there now. There's a growing community of people who are pushing through this, who are getting past their first, their first few weeks and months. And uh, there's some really great stories that are uh, emerging. Uh, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter yet, then do. Uh, it's absolutely free, just click on the link. I think when you sign up for the forum, you've got a, an opportunity to do it there. Um, so let's stop drinking alcohol 61. Uh, I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. 
onwards and upwards.